Good morning, this is Rolf from Tesla Owners US, reporting from Germany. So we made it on a long trip to Germany and visit a good friend over for his 50th birthday. But before we might go somewhere else, and that's what you will see now. I this will be part one of our Hanseatic uh, Kansas City 2 and I will dub a big part, portion That's of that movie yeah. and basically here this is the bed and breakfast where we stayed for some days and we will show you all of the three cities Bremen, Hamburg and Lübeck and visit some friends on the way there. The first trip is to Dennis, he is a YouTuber in Bremen. Enjoy the video. Hello, we are back and we have a special visit here uh, from Dennis. And we're gonna see him soon. Okay, here we are at Dennis Hammer Market. Dennis is a businessman and he is a member of the Chamber of Commerce in Bremen. He owns that hammer market and his wife uh, provided us that Model 3, what you see in the background. Uh, he has an excellent market with nice goods, pretty good, and his market is fully equipped with photovoltaic panels on top of his market. He is basically self-sufficient. And we will have a tour through Bremen with Dennis today. So Dennis Bittus is a YouTuber and also an electric uh, car fan or electromobility fan for sustainable energy. He supplied for his customers first uh, an AC charging station where they can charge up to 22 kilowatt and at the same time later with a local uh, utility company he established a, a charging unit where customers can charge while they are shopping at his store. And this charging cap is capable of up to 50 kilowatt DC power and you can have an RFID card, uh, any type of RFID card and it's going to be free for the customer to use. If they don't have the right RFID card, they can go in the store and someone of the store will swipe it for him so that they get free electricity uh, from the provider while they are shopping. Here, Dennis is driving while I'm driving the Model 3. Dennis is driving now the uh, uh, Renault Zoe. The Renault is not being known in the US and it's more known as the Nissan Leaf. It's this very similar build. And for his vice uh, market manager, he has that uh, Kia, uh, Kia provided uh, with an efficient battery package. So um, both of them are currently charging and are ready uh, for the store and sure what I had to give to Dennis was the t-shirt of Tesla Owners US and we are happy to be at his location. Dennis is the owner of his franchise store and here is the studio where he is taking videos for his series Moin Tesla where he is describing uh, everything around sustainable, sustainable energy. They have the camera, what he is placing, and, and an alternative camera, and he is reporting from there, sure that he has additional equipment for better lighting as well. So, yeah, that is his uh, home there, where you see most of the videos from, or if he interviews you remotely, you will see the movies from there as well. So Dennis leads us to the city and the city is usually walkable in the center of the city. So he showed us the Lipron Church, the big marketplace, the, uh, in a, uh, the Chamber of Commerce and for sure the Parliament in the back. But from the 
when you have that nice weather, there are all over uh, restaurants with tables and chairs where you can sit and eat. And that's what we did as well. So we uh, selected a nice place where we sit and eat uh, in the center of the city of Bremen. So there was a fairy tale of the Bremer town musicians from Grimm Brothers and it's played in the city of Bremen and from there uh, they offered a, a built a bronze statue of those uh, musicians, the animal musicians with a donkey, a dog, a cat and a rooster. And the story is if you touch them and then touch the nose after that it will give luck for you for a while. Sure that everybody can use luck and they should do a wish what they wish for uh, and the wish should come true, which that is the story and then rub the nose for that. And they were not that sure of the rose nose rubbing is also important and who uh, could not need uh, luck. So. Uh, the whole family, the brother-in-law and everybody came there and rubbed the, uh, the, took the feet of the donkey and rubbed the nose and that was then very successful for everybody and I hope all of the wished, wishes will become true uh, because when uh, you are keeping the hands and rubbing the nose and you wish something, it should come become true. So that's the story of the Bremer town musicians of the Brothers Grimm. And Dennis was so nice to explain us the center of the city and all the streets around that. This is the house of the merchants just opposite of the government on the other side, wait a second, we're gonna swing around to the, there's the government, that's the uh, uh, government on the right, and on the right side, these are the House of Representative of the uh, city of Bremen. Bremen was a city of free, free city of emergent city, that's why they call it Hansa and they all belong together in a group of trading nationally and internationally. Usually a city of rich merchants which uh, traded uh, spices around the world and we visit all of them. When you go to the city then you see merchants and craftsmen uh, building these cities and you see their businesses and also you see the story of aviation told in the museum. The site on the right is the meeting place for the Social Democratic Party after elections or before elections and you can see the craftsmanship in the uh, shops just next to it. As you know the most cities are starting from a river because a river makes the transportation much easier. So Bremen starts from the river Weser and that river Weser goes into the northern sea and you can see already some museum ships there at that river. The Bremen had also a uh, uh, soccer club which is next to that river further down. When you see the river and the uh, history of the city it always starts from here and the city builds from here. The center of the city usually starts from the river and then the uh, city is ex expanding from the river out. In the far back there is also a free a customs area or a bounded area where uh, people have goods which are not going through custom yet. 
We appreciate Dennis explaining us the city and the surroundings of the city uh, and enjoying it also the portion of the city called Schnur. Uh, there are very small streets where you can walk through with a lot of business and restaurants. So we enjoyed that part of the city and also had drinks in the inner city there. <laughs> And now I would like to show you a special portion that's the Bremen Passage uh, with uh, more shops in the newer part of the city. And it's a kind of a hall of fame where instead of having stars there uh, in bronze, they are having the hands of the local or uh, German stars in the streets and with the names to it. So all of the people who have, were involved in Bremen and have done something in the city of Bremen. Maybe they copied that from Hollywood because in Hollywood the Walk of Fame has stars in there and here they are stars instead of their full name and uh, things what they did, they have their hands there. And for sure, we stayed in the parking garage where you could charge. Uh, at that time, the charger was busy, but now the charger was available. There is an RFID card from the city of Bremen uh, facilities or utilities, which you can use. And in Germany, you are using a cable that comes with it, what you can put in stick in the charger and then the other side you stick in your car. So you have to bring your own cable uh, always with you and this will be also delivered with the Tesla, the own cable. Uh, so you stick it on one side and then stick it on the other side. It basically is a common interface so for a charger. And the uh, parking spots are very wide and uh, easy and is they are marked green and they are accessible uh, and we are for everybody easily. So the parking is maybe a little bit more expensive but the charging at that location is free and we appreciate uh, that nice location where at the same time you can park and charge as well. Yeah, we appreciate the great tour Dennis Vitus, uh, also a YouTuber, uh, gave us. And we uh, liked it very much because we can see from an insider the center of the city and everything what's around it. Uh, we enjoyed the city and say thank you to Dennis and hope that we can return the favor the next time we visit Germany or he comes to us. I'm pressed to say